guys, I'm Chess Prime, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing the slideshow for the first generation slash first season of my Sims 4, the Short Legacy Challenge. There will be 10 generations, so this is only the end of the first one. Um, I had super fun doing this challenge because we started out with me and my husband Gage. We started out as my our Sims selves, and we basically started out with $1,800 and built a house from there, got our own money without getting a job. Well, he had a job, but I I was not allowed to have a job as the first matriarch or the first heir, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and basically built up from nothing. And it was, it was really fun. I didn't think I would like playing as my sim self, but it actually was, like, way more fun than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, that is basically what the challenge was. It was 38 parts. If you want to go check it out, it's not that long of a Let's Play to check out. But you can kind of see what happens in it with these screenshots. And I'm also going to go over what happened in it because for every time I do one of these slideshows, I try to do a slideshow for almost every series I come out with. I like to go back and read the titles of the episodes and kind of review what happened and all of those. So, the first episode was just intros and rules. That wasn't an actual episode. Um, and then the first actual, like, gameplay episode was getting started. And then boyfriend and getting pregnant. We didn't waste any time. We automatically got pregnant. Um, and then we eloped. The next episode is called eloping. Uh, we didn't have money to do a wedding, so we just eloped by the river by our house. It was super cute. And then second trimester and home, home improvements, that pretty much says for itself. Rule adjustment and our first child is born. Um, the rule I adjusted was actually just to make it harder. I went from having to get to a level 5 in a skill to having to either get two level 5s in two different skills or level 10 in one skill. And I think we accomplished both. So, it wasn't that much cha more challenging, but way more challenging than, uh, what we had it as. And then, is the first days as parents. We almost didn't age her up on time, because I didn't realize it was going to be such a short <laughs> amount of time. Uh, garden improvements, getting patchy, aging up our toddler, Getting pregnant again and having a tiny home. That's why I realized that our home could be kind of a tiny home. I could be getting all these benefits. Yes, it took 11 parts. But I finally did live with a tiny home the rest of the, of the Let's Play. Roller skating. Finally having a real house. This one I built an actual house that wasn't just that blue shack we've been living in that uh, you're currently seeing on your screen. I do. There we go. And uh, I do make an improvement uh having a toddler in the house again we aged up into a toddler or our kid aged up into a toddler gage's birthday having a teenager and our third baby putting a cat in the game i put my cat comment in the game for just a short amount of time uh double pie training aging on up uh festival of youth this shim shouldn't come over that was a disaster episode uh, Tyler and I both age up, um, that was my birthday and my son's birthday, uh, t Legacy 24 celebrating my birthday, uh, t skill building, aging up and moving out our firstborn, so that's when Jacqueline moved out, our first daughter, uh, sibling bonding, bonding, kitchen upgrades, her first pet and aging up into a teen, so that's when our next matriarch aged up into a teen. Parents bedroom makeover, we finally made over the, the parents bedroom, it took forever. Catching rare frogs, teen romance, that's when her and Dorothy got together, Kay and Dorothy, which Kay is the little toddler you're looking at now. She eventually ends up getting with Dorothy Gal, it's really cute. Uh, this kid got a pool for his birthday, so that's when we got a pool for the house. Using the seance table. Of course, I want to summon Bone Hilda. We didn't actually end up summoning Bone Hilda, but we're really close and we can do it in the beginning of next season. He got hella tans. So for the rest of my series, Gage gets really tan. Uh, just beware it towards the end of the photos. You'll see that. He'll become really tan. It's really weird. 
and 36 is group seance. And then we have girlfriends and promise rings. And that's her and Dorothy finally officially got together um, as girlfriends. And then we have uh, aging up together final episode or final part I think it says um so yeah that her and Dorothy age up together for the last episode it's super cute and we move my sim out I don't have pictures of me moving my sim out but I uh, back into her apartment but we just move it back into the old apartment I put my sims in and built for my sims before uh uh, we started this challenge because I already had them in my world. I have this like this whole big world and it's like with a bunch of different characters and stuff so I use it for like almost every let's play. So um, that's why I mean put it back in the apartment she had before this let's play because she existed in this world before then. But anyway guys I think the talking part of this episode is going to show right here and we're going to have some sim MCR music coming for you because I love MCR and some music and them put together is like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> it's from The Sims 3 if you didn't know. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. Alright, bye! Rock and dark, see loud. Rock my way to the sky. Absolutely, I'm not going to go.